Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah and welcome to another Reddit Am I the A-Hole Knit Edition. I'm excited. I will say I was having trouble logging into my Reddit, but it did allow me to search Am I the A-Hole Knit, so I'm not going to question it. We're just going to keep going. But before we get into that, I've got Big Brutus. That's right, Big Brutus is back. And today I am drinking Donut Shop with Pumpkin Spice Creamer. And we're just doing it simple today, and it is so good. So sit back, relax, and let's figure out who is the a-hole. As always, the opinions that I give are strictly my own. They're just what I am thinking. I am reading these blind, so I don't know what I'm re- no- bleh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting into until I actually click on the story and actually read it and then give my opinion. I will be posting the uh, the original poster's handle uh, at the bottom of the screen, but if you find them to be the a-hole and you want to say something mean, just say it on my video, on this video. Don't go to their page and troll them because that's not cool. They are just trying to figure out if they are the a-hole or not. And this is all in good fun. Nothing should be taken too seriously. Um, and as always, there will be a cute something knitted at the end. And of course, I will put their handle as well. So without further ado, let's find our first Am I the A-hole? All right, so our first one is quite long. It does say rant, but the title is Am I the A-Hole Towards My Local Yarn Shop or Yarn Store, whatever you want to call it. So this is what they had to say. My only local yarn sh store is about 30 minutes away. I wish I had a local yarn store. Anyways, the owner is an amazing, kind woman who will bend over backwards to help you. Her paid and or volunteer assistants are absolutely not. Oh, some highlight. Told I was a racist when I called asking if they carried Portuguese knitting pins because Portuguese people people knit like everyone else, then hung up on me without allowing me to explain. I don't even know what Portuguese knitting pins are, but okay. And two, I went in shopping for shawl, shawl yarn when I mentioned I spun yarn for the project, but it didn't turn out, hence why I needed to buy yarn. The helper said I had no business buying yarn at all if I could just make it myself. I agreed with her leaving and didn't go back. Boy, oh my goodness. Meanwhile, a second local yarn store opened much closer to me carrying yarn I like. Local yarn store B closed, moving out of state. The only issue I had with local yarn store B was a customer who, who was the most horrific, nasty piece of work that made these two from OG uh, yarn store look like angels. Back to, back to the OG, can I speak? <laughs> back to the original yarn store. Sheesh. I was in the area and decided to see if the helpers had changed in the last six years. Wow, it's been that long. The local yarn store still doesn't carry yarn I use, but I bought needles. I talked to the owner, still amazing as always. She invited me to sit and knit during open knit time. I said no because of someone from local yarn store B. She knew exactly who I meant and reassured me this person is banned from her shop. Interesting. Hopefully tides changed. I signed up for the local yarn store newsletter, a class with very pith pithy information, pithy, P-I-T-C, THY about piece and materials or price sorry about price and materials or how to sign up was mentioned I wanted to take the class I call and get a helper uh, after about 10 minutes of going in circles and telling me all the drama about the class that that's not a class but a club the best I can summarize it's a three-month commitment at $40 a month plus materials every month, total somewhere in the 60 to $80 range. If and if, it's a big if, I would even be allowed to join. That, me that 
meet if I if and that's the big if if I would be able to be allowed to join oh my goodness um where did I lost my place lost my place that meet twice a month for two hours the helper was especially excited I knew how to knit and owned needles what the F? I'm essentially paying $10 an hour to sit in a chair and knit the same project with others that may or may not have an ins instructional element. I mentioned the newsletter should have more information to avoid calls from customers. She told me the club was a secret was a secret, and customers shouldn't even know about it. I didn't write the newsletter. Letter. Perhaps the secret class club should have a separate newsletter? Question mark. She told me instead I should ask if I'm allowed to have private lessons at $20 an hour instead if I was interested in this month's technique. Technique. Allowed? Question mark. By whom? Question mark. The owner? The teacher? My mommy? <laughs> oh my goodness. I ranted to my husband who is fully aware of the 12 year saga I've had with this local yarn store. He said I should call back and speak directly to the owner. The owner has tried to get me to sit and knit for years. This might be her chance. I'm not upset about the pricing because it is a business with overhead and they need to make a profit. Why can't I get a straight answer to a simple question with all without all the fuss? Hi, where's your sock yarn from for a shawl because the yarn I made didn't turn out. Go away! Do you have Portuguese knitting pins? Go away, you racist! Hey, I need help with this technique you're offering. How much money do I need to give you? You're not allowed to know it exists. I mean, that's basically what sh should I call back and see if I'm allowed to join the club? I only want this one class, but I'm reluctantly willing to commit to the next three months. I'm ready to write off the local yarn store again for the rest of my life and just knit in isolation rather than deal with that. Why is this so hard? Man, that does sound pretty bad. I would definitely, in my, if, if that were me and I knew the owner or was acquaintance, acquaintance with the owner, I would definitely go back and give feedback on how I'm being treated. Obviously in a nice way because it's not the owner's fault that these people are being rude in my opinion. And I mean, if it's such a secret club, then why is it even in the newsletter? And okay, Portuguese uh, needles or pins, is that what they were? Portuguese knitting pins? It's... They are coming from, I'm assuming they come from Portuguese, Portuguese, Portugal. Oh my goodness. So that wouldn't be racist. That would be like, okay, I need, oh gosh, what is, there's yarn that comes from different countries, you know? So let's say I needed a specific kind of yarn and it comes from Turkey and I say, I need this Turkey or Turkish yarn. Is that racist? No, it's just stating the fact that it comes from Turkey. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know how that could be a racist thing that you need something that comes from a specific location and call it by that specific location. That, I don't know. But I would definitely call the owner and have a nice little chat with the owner and calmly and not be mean. Well, my phone decided that I have been talking too much on this one. But yes, I, will, I would definitely call the owner, have a conversation, say, hey, this is how I've been treated. This is why I stopped coming here six years ago. I would love to do this sit down with you and um, knit together, but I don't feel comfortable around these people. And just let her, let it, let it go from there. So now let's get some comments. So the first one says, I agree with your husband. You should definitely talk to the owner. Gently explain to her that people she trusts to run her business are actively harming her. I bet you are not the only customer those helpers turned away. Exactly. Exactly. You can frame it as a funny antidote at first, asking if she is sure she was allowed to invite you into the secret club. Then along the lines of other funny stories that happened to me in your store, 
tell her about other things, especially the Portuguese knitting thing, because it's a serious, what the F? <laughs> it's not even so much about you as it is about this woman you clearly like, who is being screwed over at every turn by her employees slash volunteers. She needs to either replace them or supervise them better, but she needs to do something or they'll run her out of business. Local yarn stores are a difficult business as it is. She doesn't need extra difficulties. I couldn't agree more with this statement. Let's see. Can I find another one? Here's another one. I would tell the owner that you always enjoy seeing her and she is so kind and helpful, but you've unfortunately had a few bad experiences with her employees. You want to let her know because she's awesome and her store is lovely, but after those experiences, you find yourself hesitating to come back. If she asks for specifics, give them. Being told the class you read about in the newsletter was the most recent incident, but you've also had other things pop up. If she reacts poorly, you know how those employees ended up there. Okay. And let's see, is there anything else? Okay, so here's another one. It says, I think what I would do is if you have an email for the owner, I would just email them and ask for clarification on the group, explaining that the helper was unhelpful and off-putting. At the same time, I'd ask who is running the group because while you find her to be lovely, over the years, several several helpers have been rude and unwelcoming, and it is, and if it's them, you're not interested. Her reaction to that will probably tell you all you need to know. So, yeah, everybody is saying to um, contact her and I would say not the out not the a-hole because um, you didn't actually do anything as far as being rude to the the employees or volunteers but I totally understand I wouldn't want to be treated that way and go back to the store I would probably not go back myself I do wish we had a local yarn store because mine is Walmart and it has a very small selection of yarn and it's the same yarn day in and day out without hardly anything new coming in but that's beside the point so I dub the not the a-hole I understand your frustration and yeah definitely go and talk to the owner and let her know what's going on hopefully that will fix the problem now this was posted one month ago so we'll see I don't know I don't know if there'll be an update or not but anyways on to the next alrighty so this one was posted seven days ago um, reddit is saying not not the a-hole, but we will find out. The title, by the title, I would say not the a-hole. And it says, am I the a-hole for knitting a sweater while watching a movie with my in-laws? Now, I would definitely say no because I do that. I do that all the time. I do that watching YouTube. I'm, whatever it is, well, I don't knit, but I do crochet. And I do that watching, and I do that uh, watching movies and having conversations with family and stuff. So I do that. So I would just initially say no, but let's see what they said and decide for ourselves. So I was hanging out with my in-laws at their big modern cabin this past week. It was about 20 people total. Bleh. It was about 20 people total through through the week. And in parentheses, not all at the same time. Okay, so people came and went. Uh, so it was a little crowded at times. One evening, we were all going to sit and watch a movie. So I figured it was a good time for me to work on one of my sweaters. Okay, for knitters who will understand, it's a top-down raglan and I'm at the body of the sweater. So it's endless stockinette on on circular needles with a color change for the ribbing, which I wouldn't have, in parentheses, which I wouldn't have gotten to do, gotten to during the movie. Uh, it's not a very involved project where I need to keep count, and I've been knitting for eons, so I don't look at my needles for basic stockinette. I wish I knew how to do that. I cannot not look at my crochet, but I still can hold conversation. However, my mother-in-law got an annoyed at me for knitting during the movie. I wasn't in her line of vision, but when she looked over after scanning the room, she scowled. After the movie, she asked me why I was knitting when I was watching a movie. I said that I watched the movie. I was just doing something with my hand. She scowled again and said that it was rude for me to just go off and do my own thing the whole time. I didn't really know what to say, so I just said, uh, okay, and in parentheses, creative, right? <laughs> 
I do that. I get flustered and I don't know what to say. And so stuff, stupid stuff like that comes out of me. <laughs> anyway, she goes on to say, and went to the bedroom. My husband was already getting ready for bed. So I brought it up to him and he said, I can just ignore her. She, she's just being controlling. Am I wrong here? No, this is like the other one that we did that was very similar. No, because you can. I mean, when you're watching a movie, it's not like you're having a conversation. But I can have conversation while doing my crocheting. Now, obviously, if it's something that I need to keep track of and count, then yeah, I'm not going to do that kind of work. That's too detailed and I need to concentrate or count or whatever it may be. Um, I am not that skilled of a crocheter to be able to do that, but I can do simple, basic crocheting and hold a conversation. But when you're watching a movie, you're not having a conversation. People should not be talking. So I don't see that it's rude by any means to do that, especially you're at home or you're at a home environment. It's not like you took it to the movie theater. Because I will say this, when I do crochet and watch stuff, I have a tendency to lose what I'm watching. So I usually do it when I have, when I know what it is that I'm watching and therefore don't need to keep track. So if I'm going to go see a brand new movie, then no, I'm not going to take any crochet. But still, not the a-hole. I don't understand people that get mad. You're there. Your presence is there. You're watching a movie movie together so it's not like everybody's going to be talking but anyways we already know that reddit has dubbed the not the a-hole but let's see what they had to say um first one says not the a-hole i crochet through anything exactly i pay better attention to the movie when doing something with my hands she's being difficult so i lose concentration to the movie when i'm doing something when i'm doing crochet because i have to look down at my crochet in order to actually crochet but that being said, not everybody has that difficult, that problem. <laughs> a lot of people can watch the movie without having to look at what they're doing. Someone else, let's see. Okay, so this one, said, this person said, if I don't crochet at home during a movie, I eat. Really, don't need the calories, so I will always keep my hands busy with a, a yarn project, not the a-hole. Interesting, my Reddit just disappeared. Hopefully, I can find that. I sh well, I should be able to find it again. Oh my goodness. All right. So while my, my tablet is doing its thing, we obviously have dubbed the not the a-hole. I don't find it rude. I mean, people do stuff. Shoot. People are on their phones watching movies. They're on their phones watching TikTok or something else or Facebook, whatever it may be. So I don't know. We distract ourselves with all kinds of stuff. As long as you're there and enjoying the movie, then that should be fine. Hopefully. Hopefully I will be able to get back onto my Reddit, but I'm going to check my phone to see. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. It's coming back up. It's coming back up. Okay. Want that one? Thank you. Da, 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 da. All right. Found it. But yes, not the a-hole. On to the next. All right. So I'm trying to keep within less than a year and the next one I found really didn't make sense. So I'm, I, obviously you did not see it. <laughs> Uh, it had no comments on it anyways, so I really couldn't, I don't know. It was just not making sense. So here we are. This is the something cute. And oh my goodness, are these not adorable pumpkin hats? They are just too precious. Uh, it's by Rose, Roses and Tea Time. They posted this five days ago. I will link the patterns to both the knitted hat as well as the crochet stem and vine. That is just too cute. And I love that it combined both knitting and crocheting. Those are just adorable. I would love to make those. I really need to learn how to knit. <laughs> I just do. I really need to learn how to knit. Oh my goodness. But anyways, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, I would love it if you would hit the like button. And if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click all on the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Did you find someone the a-hole? Or do you have some advice? And are you going to knit those adorable pumpkin hats? They are too cute. I've had fun today, even though my tablet was being stupid. Um, 
But yeah, I've had a lot of fun today and I look forward to next week. Cheers. I will see you then. And remember, gravity works, guys.